All right, what comes to mind when you think of mental health? Anxiety. Anxiety. Um, people needing therapy, yeah. needing someone to talk to. Okay. How about um, you? People, you know, thinking about committing suicide or, mm. you know, um, people that, um, what am I trying to say? That has dealt with a lot. That has dealt with some trauma. Um, Trauma, yeah, stuff like that, yeah. right? Okay, I like that, I like that. And what comes to mind when you think of self care? Self care mm -hmm. is sometimes you gotta be selfish. You know it's what I'm saying? Self. Taking care of yourself, Take yourself even though first, when it right? comes to your kids, yeah. it's just like mommy gotta have this twenty minutes in the morning for herself okay. mentally, so that our day goes by smooth. Okay. How about you? Um, maintaining the uh, outside, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that um, your um, hygiene, mm -hmm. your uh, um, hair, you know, self-care, making sure you keep yourself up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Making sure you keep yourself up, okay. keep yourself together. I like that, I like that. And what comes to mind when you think of feet? Maybe feet gotta be on point. Feet? feet. Yeah, your feet. feet. Yeah, yeah, actually feet. Oh. Um, A lot of things come to mind. You have to, <laughs> I, I feel like your yeah, feet yeah, yeah. is... Um, it keeps your body temperature too. Mm -hmm. Your feet is everything. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't got your feet, you right don't shoes. Have anything. You know, even when you've been in the medical field, yeah. you know, we might not like certain brands of shoes, but um, what shoes did I just get? They're called uh, Brooks. Brooks. There's some amazing shoes mm -hmm. for like your back, good support. Yeah. So yeah, support, self care, a mm -hmm. lot of things. Yeah, a lot of nurses have told me that pedicures are important. Can you yeah, yeah, stand yes. on your feet all day, right? Yeah, yes. so mm, I understand. Okay, so how often do you try new experiences? Me? You mm. be honest. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a very adventurous person. Yeah. It's like today, you know, sitting down to interview. Like I said, I don't want to look at notes because I'm just going uh, Just go with the flow, just right? Just go with the flow. Yeah, I understand. So I like to just, I'm very adventurous. Okay, I like that. How about um, you? Me? I like to travel, so experiences travel. like that. But as far as my regular day to day basis, I don't yeah. like to try different things because I'm picky. So I know I picky. don't mm. like it, but um, I will experience different, you know, cultures oh. and nature like that. That's but good. Not food or. Girl, I did the other day. I tried some food social life. Life. It was delicious. <laughs> it's like, I can't. I eat the same thing all the time. That's just stuff. That's just stuff. Okay. So when you try new experiences, right, how do you cope with the uncomfort? How do I cope? Yeah, with the like, uncomfort. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like I was just saying, I tried some uh, foo foo. Mm -hmm. Um, before I told her I tried, I said, let me tell you right now, and if I don't like it, don't you be upset, because I'm not trying to offend your culture or your food or anything. It is, but, right? you yeah, know, yeah. It was just, I was just being fair. Okay, okay. How about you? How do you cope with the uncomfort? Um, I keep it to myself, and I just won't try it again. Mm. Keep it to yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. I heard that earlier, right? They, mm -hmm. they try it one time, and that's it, right? Because mm. you can offend someone mm -hmm. with something, or... But if somebody asks you, like, uh, can you do a survey yeah. on this, then they want to know what you uh, like or what you didn't like. Mm -hmm. I can do that, but I'm not going to be like, that was terrible. That, mm -hmm. I'm not never. I'm going to keep to myself. Exactly. And I won't ever try it again. Okay. That's how I go. Okay. So basically, I do a self-assessment, right? And I ask myself, what's the worst that can happen for trying something new? Right? Is my life at risk? Is my health at risk? If not, then I act opposite to any negative thoughts I may have mm -hmm. and try to, you know, uh, Go with the flow. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the worst that can happen, right? All right, so we're going to apply that to our interview, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about your feet and the benefits of foot care, okay? So, how do you guys feel about y'all feet? I love my feet. I think they're so love cute. I like to just, I just love feet. You love feet. I don't really, I don't like other people's feet yeah. to touch me. I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I take care of my feet because. If they have to touch somebody else, I want them to be touch, a touchable. So mm -hmm. I make sure my feet are taken care of because if exactly. I my feet, I can't. And if your feet dirty, you better not get in my bed. <laughs> if your feet stinking, you better not put your feet in my bed. So, 
<laughs> you said something about your man earlier, right? You said something about cutting like your man. I keep his toenails clipped every three weeks, you yeah. know. Like I said, if he don't tell me, I'm always looking at his feet. He a big guy. Big guy. So, you know, I have big to guy. make sure I take care of his feet. All right, that's stuff. That's stuff. All right. All right, so describe y'all feet to me. Y'all got long toes, short toes, what? My second toe is big, but I don't care. Your second toe is big. I mean, big. excuse me, it's longer than the uh, first toe. Okay. But does it make me insecure? No, mm -hmm. I have uh, soft feet. Soft feet. I, I got um, short toes. Short toes. My, no my toenails, they are hard. Hard. Very square. Like my toes very square. Very square. <laughs> And I consider me having pretty feet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just up. That's just up. That's just up. What size shoe are y'all? I'm up really. I'm like a four. A four. But it depends on like what shoe, you know. Okay. I wear a seven. A seven. Okay. okay. So okay. like, yeah, like this is a six. But these okay. are kind of like dressy shoes. That's just up. That's just up. That's just up. Okay. So what's your favorite type of shoe to wear? Well, I like heels. Heels. Why heels? I don't know. It's more classier, it's classy. you know, versus it, tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm at school, I'll, uh -huh. I'll put on some tennis shoes. A couple shoes. Shoe. Versus she has on heels. Mm -hmm. So she probably dressed yeah. like that all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But I prefer heels if I'm okay. going to wear this, this school. So. Okay. Are heels comfortable to you? Depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta know what shit. You gotta know what heel. I need, I need, the, I need, I need a certain detail. Just like for example, um, it has to be a chunky <laughs> heel, the stiletto. No, stiletto. my body weight can't handle. See, and I can do a stiletto heel. The only reason I can do a stiletto heel is the platform has to be big. The front part. I can do a stiletto if I'm about to go have a seat. Have a seat. I can walk to my destination. And have a seat. Mm. I can't. Just For example, be walking long period of time. These heels that I had on, I had so many people tell me like, "Girl, I, are your feet hurting? Your feet hurting?" And I'm like, "No, they're not hurting." <laughs> they don't and it was because of the the, the platform on the fr the front mm. part of the heel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it balanced everything out. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the heel selection too. Some women, it's like, baby, you know, you ain't got no beauty. The ones on the small women that's on the smaller side, yeah, they can wear stilettos because they don't they don't have putting that much pressure mm -hmm. on their feet. So you got a lot of pressure, then yeah. your, your uh, feet can't handle mm -hmm. all that pressure. So and then they got certain heels with that dip. And I can't mess with them. Feet are flat, and some people got a dip in yeah. their feet. Oh, yes. Y'all okay. doing all the educating so far. I ain't got to say <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Y'all are educating people already. Okay. How often do you go barefoot? I'm a country girl, so I'm always barefoot. Not never. Never. I'm I a put country socks girl. on. I don't want my feet to touch the, the bare floor at bare all. Bare floor at all. I just, I don't know why. I just feel like the mm -hmm. floor dirty, and then I got to get in my bed. And then at the airport, oh, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> no, I'm not about to be no, but no. But I'm a country girl. Yeah, I like, country. but I still put socks on. Yeah. You know, they got like little, you know, the grippies. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I, if I don't have no socks, then I'll have those on. Okay. But uh, I'm never bare feet. And I love to go okay. outside. But I don't, wear, I don't wear socks with my shoes. You don't wear I'm socks? Not, but I'm not taking. Huh. That's, okay. This is different. Yeah, so that's you don't different. Wear socks I never, with your yeah. shoes, but you don't like. Okay. But I can't be barefoot. For too long. But not, not at all. Not at all. Oh, dang. You have experience. So I'm not barefoot. I got on yeah. tennis You got on tennis shoes right now. But right? I'm having yeah. on any socks. Okay. Because See. the socks we showing, you can get the no-show. It just depends the on how the sole is The ballerina socks, because I wear those yeah. when I wear my heels. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. You say, you say the ring socks? Ballerina socks. Ballerina socks. Mm -hmm. It's a no-show. It's a no-show. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. So being barefoot, right? It can help you improve sleep, increase red blood cells. Mm -hmm. It can also help you express freedom, right? So when you take them shoes and socks off, mm -hmm. you feel free, right? It also improves your awareness and it boosts your energy level. Yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've heard a little well, bit. That's why I like barefoot. barefoot. Like, I can't sleep uh -huh. with socks on. Okay. That, um, I ain't no way. That leads I, I cannot sleep can't. with socks on. You can't sleep with your socks on. No, but I'm in the bed. So if I get up, I got... Your slippers right got, there, because mm -hmm. I do that, too. I have no okay. slippers. I got carpet or what I still... My house shoes on. So I'll leave you to my next question, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all both got husbands, correct? No, I'm both, single. You're single. Okay, you got husbands. How often do you rub your feet get your husband's feet? That's how I go to sleep. Nesting. It's called nesting. Mm hmm I fall asleep, I rub my feet on them. Mm. Okay, how about you? Um, it depends on their feet. <laughs> like if their feet is gross, do not touch me with your feet. I don't care. I don't so how about yourself? How often how how you like rub your feet on yourself? Obviously. Always. Oh, so yeah. nesting, right? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, so nesting helps you fall asleep faster. Mm -hmm. How often do you guys wiggle your toes? I do that 
it all the time. Mm. Like if I'm on the couch or if I'm on the bed, I like always wear. I never noticed it. About you never noticed it. my toes. On I do it all the time to okay. my kids. Be like, <gasps> I'm like, this is my room. Get out of my room. Oh my, my toes. Like, yeah. You don't know how many times you play, so you don't know. Yeah. If you wiggle on your toes, like, oh, I just wiggle my toes. Yeah, it's not a, a t- yeah, how like you don't realize doing, it. It's mm-hmm. just that it's like second nature to me. So if somebody's on my bed and they at the foot of the bed, like my son, yeah, they aggravated because I'm. But I can't help it. It's my feet. It's my bed. It's something I'm used to. Well, you know, toe wiggling stimulates your brain, right? It stabilizes your mood. Mm-hmm. It sends positive uh, sensations to your brain. So it makes you feel better, right? Stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah. Um, when y'all scrunch y'all feet together, when you scrunch them together, that's mm-hmm. a sign of stress. Mm-hmm. When you scrunch them, it basically activates your nervous system, right? Try to make you feel positive. Mm-hmm. And then when you spray your toes, it basically improves your balance and strength. You know, stuff like that, right? And pedicures. How often do you guys get pedicures? I get mine done like every four to six weeks. Six but weeks. I'm about to start doing a little bit off, more often okay. because it's like I'm finding myself like that second, third week. Kind of cleaning my toes up, and I don't have, I don't, I get tired. My back right. hurt. I'm getting older. Is it pedicures? Yeah, pedicures. Um, about every in the summer, yeah. it's a different. So in the summer, I go every two weeks. Every two weeks. Then when it get cold outside, like every six weeks. Every for six me. weeks. Okay, I like that. I like that. So pedicures, right there, they uh, increase your physical and mental confidence. They tell you early signs of health issues. They soothe pain from sprains and bruises, and also. They uh they um they um they um ah they contain skin moisture. My bad, mm-hmm. my bad. Okay, so how you guys feel about the interview so far? It's really it's, it's very yeah. educational because yeah. some stuff I didn't know and it was like hmm. We how you feel about man? Okay, uh, keep going, keep going. No, I was say we got some education out of it. Like, I agree. With you. How you feel about a man asking about your feet? I don't mind. I feel mm. like a man should know about a woman's feet. Mm, why is it that? It speaks volumes. Like if her talk, like that's a big part of your care like it's your just like your teeth and your face and your feet i feel like all of that is like the number one for a woman to make sure you take care of okay you all um, feel comfortable so far mm-hmm. I, I feel comfortable um okay. they ask because some men um they got they, feet they feet have folded. to yeah that's, that's. <laughs> they, they want you to have pretty feet they want you to have pretty feet mm-hmm. right they don't want you to have them. All right, good, good. But some women can't help it, you know. The long as them toenails is on point or whatever. Toenails on point. Girl, keep but them some men don't. They don't. You gotta have. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. If they ask you that, that's why they ask. It. Mm. Yes, that but is. But I don't like, mind because that. I mean, that's, that's mm-hmm. just your preference. Okay, okay, okay. I never looked at that, but that could be true. Like why they ask? Like uh, why they ask? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got some guys out there, right? They have, they have like a foot fetish. Yeah, know, I got yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. that likes to for me to send them. Pictures of my feet every once in a while. Really? Which is weird, but I don't mind. How do you cope with that? How do I, I, I think it's fun. It's funny, like, because I got a foot fetish. Like, I love baby feet. I don't know why, but it's something about baby feet that I love. I love the smell of them. I just. Mm. I love <laughs> something about baby feet. <laughs> Try to stay serious here, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys one more question here, right? Can y'all step out your comfort zone a little bit more and show y'all feet? Show you my feet? Yes. I like I ain't worried Can't. about that. All right, cool. Can you do it? Put us on the spot. On the spot. Put you on the spot. Yeah. Put us on the spot. I just I'll show you our feet now. Yeah. Can you do it right now? I ain't been huh. on, my, on my feet on the yeah, spot. I told you I'm a country girl. You can, you can right there for me. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say, I'm about to say, short, you fat, got the skirt. You got the skirt. You got the skirt. All right. You got the skirt. Oh, you good. See? He wanted to see. He, he We asked all these questions, so he wanted to see. Yeah, I, I want you to show proof to everybody, yeah. right? Because not everybody knows, you know. All right, let me see yours real quick. Put yours on top of this one. Can I get both? Oh, you saw both? both? Yep, yeah, both. Mm-hmm. She got on the skirt. I can't exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the crazy thing, I had surgery on both of my feet. Well, it look good. It look and that's good. that's because going to get my feet done. Uh, so actually, I swear to Oh, it's all good. It's you gotta all be good. very picky with who do your pedicures. Cause I got two ingrown toenails mm. and a skin lesion, so I had surgery two years ago. Okay. And I still struggle with it. That's good. Uh, not yet. You got the perfect alignment, right? Put your feet up for me. Put them up all the way. Up. Yep. Up. Up. Like. I mean, like, put them on top of the chair and just ah. like, <laughs> like, and like, you know, <laughs> like, look, like, look your soles up. It'll go perfect. All right, so I want to show everybody this here, okay? 
This is how it looks like. Let me take care of your feet. Oh, yeah. We should, you could have seen my bottom of my feet. I just sat in this chair. Oh, you want to do it? Uh-huh. All right, bet. I want to say something about my heels. Okay. Scrunch your feet again. What's scrunch your feet? What if some person... Yeah. What if you were to ask somebody... What? <laughs> feet was terrible. <laughs> I ain't going to say on camera. I'm just going to say on camera. <laughs> How does that feel when you scrunch them together? Does that feel good? Yeah. All right. What give you tell us for me? How, okay, so how do you know when you stepped on something? Because Dirty. I can, it's a feeling. Okay. Look at them again for me. How does that feel when you wear them? I just feel, feel like good. Feel good. Good. It feels good. Like it feels right? Okay, cross your feet one way for me. How does that feel when you cross them that way? Relax. Relaxing. Okay, cross them the other way for me. How does that feel? Same. Same? Okay, which way is more comfortable to you? The right. Okay. Right. So let me ask you one question, right? If you were sitting the other way, right, and somebody wanted to ask you some questions, would you be focused on what they were saying or would you be more focused on the on the sitting position? Uh, why how? So like, let's say I was trying to interview, right? And you were sitting the other way, a very uncomfortable way, right? Uh-huh. Would you be more focused on- How uncomfortable yeah, it was, yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's another effect, right? Comfortable positions, right? Also, the way your toes is pointed, right? Mm -hmm. Your toes is pointed towards me, which means that you're interested in what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If your toes wasn't pointed towards me, that means that you wouldn't be interested in what I'm saying, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, play the room. Stuff play the room. Yeah, it's something different. It's different. Okay, pretty interesting. <laughs> right, I'm going to feel on top of you. Cross your legs for me, though. Yeah. Okay, boom. All right. All right. So how you feeling, sir? Look at the bottom of them, huh? Yeah, look at them. I don't even let them use that little scrubber thing. What's it called? That, uh, I hate that. Like, don't put that on the bottom of my feet. I like y'all vibe, man. Okay, y'all pretty cool people. Y'all pretty cool people. It's how it looks, y'all. I mean, to kill y'all feet. Okay, rub them together for me. Nesting, how does that feel? Good, because like I said, I do this all the time. You do it all the time. You do it on the other side here. Keep on doing that for me. Okay, scrunching together? I can't even do that. You can't do that? <laughs> Why not? Why, why can't you it do it? It just feel funny. This is um, the cramps a little bit. Give you cramps? Yeah. All right. So you're holding that tense again, right? Okay. Now I can spread them out. How does that feel? Wonderful. Why does that feel wonderful? That's what I like to do when I come about my shoes. Okay. Last exercise here, okay? When your husband gives you massages, right? Is there a certain tool that he uses? No. No. He uses his hand. Thumb, honey. Thumb. Right in that middle. That's the, my favorite spot right there. Okay. I got a tool here. Okay. It's going to surprise you a little bit. Toothbrush. Now, there's a reason why I said a toothbrush, though. I'm like, where the heck you got to use it? And my feet are too ticklish. <laughs> I know, because I don't even I like when they use that little. Yeah. How often do you sit in the, um, what's that called? The little uh, the little massage chairs? They like mm -hmm. shake around, vibrate. How often do you sit down on those? How often? Yeah, do you sit down on those? Every four to six weeks. Every four to six weeks. How does that feel? It was wonderful. So this toothbrush, right, just like that, the vibration is going to soften up the tissue. Stimulate them breast cells and stimulate them nervous system stuff like stuff like that, right? Would you want to use it? Would I want to use the toothbrush? Yeah. Right now, would you want to try it? No, because it's so little and I don't know where the toothbrush be. Oh, I got sent. <laughs> it's all good though. You don't want to. It's okay. You don't want to. Yeah, all right, good, good, good. Yeah, so a toothbrush basically vibrates. It's going to soften up the tissue in your feet and make you feel good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so overall, how do you guys feel? About the interview. The interview was great, very educational. It's, um, it's good. I liked your last little thing when he said take off the shoes and socks. He wanted to see the feet. Oh, I, I'm like everybody show proof because you talk got, to some real women, honey. I mean, you can talk about it all day, so right? But, yeah, is it? Trust see? me, all we gotta do is look at the bottom. Of look at the bottoms, right? Yeah. Well, thank y'all very much. Right on. Thank you.